So let me fill you in with what's going on. We knew there was a guy behind this wall and he was between the two garage doors. So I'm trying to cause a distraction and make a little bit of noise to mask Foulmaster's footsteps as he sneaks up behind the guy. The guy has no idea he's coming there, so I'm shooting, shooting, shooting. And sure enough, Foulmaster gets behind him. It's an easy knock and kill. That's how it's done. up to speed one more time. Foulmaster knocked a guy and we feared his friend was coming and sure enough here he comes. So I'm thinking about going back to school. Maybe become a plastic surgeon because I just rearranged that guy's face. Did I actually just use an iron sight? Yes I did. Headshot. Yeah, look at that garbage. He stole my kills. I'd have had him. Ah, stupid new Xbox. Record the last two minutes, but it still missed me getting that second kill. So the blues moved in on us. His partner was behind this little wall barricade. We threw a couple grenades, ran here. We didn't see him, so we decided to circle around. We thought maybe he bugged out. So somehow, magically, the Xbox can't record my kills. But it can record Foulmasters. Fantastic. Whatever. Anyways, we're going to loot this guy. we got to get out of there pretty quick. Still trying to find out where exactly this circle is going to end. Where can we get to? We just know that circle is on our tail. Give Gave this a shot, hoping we'd be safe right there. But the circle still pushed us out. Not a whole lot of options. But we did need a couple things. And then this happens. <coughs> yep, that happened. That's my own fault, though. Should have been watching while I was looting. I should have turned the camera. I've told you guys that in the past, and I didn't do it myself. Thank goodness those noobs over there did not try to come over here and finish us. They could have even thrown a grenade. I don't know what happened to them. Oh, that was them. They ran up in there. So, um, I uh, almost noob killed myself with a grenade. <laughs> Let's not do that. I hope, hope we've all learned a valuable lesson today. Do not throw grenades basically at yourself. That's pretty much a scuba thing to do. And check out what scuba told me just today. He said he's gotten a lot better playing the game because he's watched all my videos and he does the exact opposite of what I teach. Yeah, that's what he told me. He's crazy. He got three kills, three lucky kills, and now he thinks that he's the next shroud. It's craziness. So, since I know he's doing the exact opposite, here's what I want to teach all of you guys. If you get into the final circle like this, and it's in a city, around a lot of buildings, a lot of structure where people can be hiding, um, you need to kind of outline the buildings. Uh, work your way around. Get a sense of where everyone's at. Don't be the last one to run. Don't let the circle push you. Because you can get into a safe spot and knock someone, just like I did with that guy. He had to run because the circle was behind him, but we were already there waiting for him. So it's the same thing. We're in a decent spot, but we're going to see where the circle is going to. 
and we're not going to wait. We want to go ahead and try and get into the circle now and be the one to um, can mop up. And I did see another guy died by the play zone, so now we just have one person left. So this is a really great opportunity for us. We have the high ground, so we want to go ahead and take the high ground. We don't want to be stuck trying to rush uh, when the play zone starts moving again. So the only, only other place this guy can be is going to be somewhere in this building. I move up here, I hear him. And I know he's probably going to have to come running out of this garage, so I'm going to position myself and wait for him. As soon as we hear the shots, though, I'm waiting to see where he's coming from, and he's in the blue. He waited way too long, got himself caught. Only a crazy person would do that. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, sometimes I might have done that too when I played with TJ Miller. But we're not going to talk about that. All right. I actually need you to pause the video right now. Go pop some popcorn because I've saved the best video for last. I hope you're ready. My team's getting assaulted inside this warehouse. I had been lagging out. I had to stop and pause. I was catching up. I was able to at least knock that one guy. Foulmaster cleaned up the rest of them. I'm still having some weird lag issue. It would not let me inside the building. But at least me getting that knock allowed him to get these other three. And we moved on. So we have two sides to this wall. The left side being the pro side, the right side being the noob side. The noob side would be because I pulled up into a building where I have zero cover. There are people in this building and they're pushing in on us. If I had stayed on the other side of the wall, we would have had instant cover. But I didn't do that, so we're having to scramble. Now, the interesting thing is, they think that I'm going to fight them like that. I'm not going to stay in no cover. Look at this. Foulmaster just popped up in front of me. I didn't even know he showed up. So we get both, we get those two guys, because they're looking the wrong way. So I'm going to catch this guy. I didn't know if he had a partner inside there. We're going to finish him off. I'm not super excited about being on this side of the wall. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop back over peek over there. Now I did see that fire, the cocktail, but I thought Foulmaster maybe threw that. So I went ahead and threw a grenade to help too, but we started talking, come to find out neither one of us had thrown the cocktail. So we know they're over here. Foulmaster sees them, he hears them, so I get back to him as fast as I can. So caught them in there with no cover. I'll get that one. Mmm, pretty. So, that's two versus squad. The two win. That's right. So, I want you to take a peek. I'm going to do a 360 spin. You tell me if you see this guy hiding anywhere. I heard no sound. I just spotted him. Have you seen him? There he is. So I honestly wasn't even sure if this was a person until he got up and I rearranged his face. Ooh, another new bites the dust. So this is going to be a quite a big jump forward. I ended up having to run and through a smoke. Had to get into the nearest building I could get into. I actually had the building pre-marked. I knew exactly where I was going to head to. Foulmaster stayed outside the door. I got to heal up. Now, honestly, I do feel bad. The hipfire god has entered the house. These guys just don't know it. So I wait for that guy to finish off his shots. I'm going to take it to him. Out hipfire him. Go ahead and finish him off so he can't tell people what I'm doing. We're going to go help Foul, open the door, let him in, and he is taken out in front of me. He had no idea where the shots came from, so I'm trying to reassess the situation. I know I want to heal, but I don't have a really safe spot to do it, so I thought standing right here, I could go in or out in case of an emergency. I do wish I'd shut that door. 
Well, let's find out why. So I know it's possibly 1 verse 2. Well, never mind. 1 verse 1. But where is this other guy, the one who took out Foul? So I take a peek. Oh, there he is. I am so low on health. I thought it was going to rush me. Thought maybe I have time for health. But nope. Hip fire God. Watch this. I stand right here because I think someone else is coming. This is when it dawns on me. I just won the match. Anyways. Oh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Now, I still haven't gotten a thousand likes on a single video. Maybe you can help me out with that. See you later.